Let's talk about um, your immediate reactions when you heard of the passing. I mean, a blow to the arts industry to have two very talented uh, actors uh, passing on. My heart stopped, Paul. I found out late yesterday, after early evening yesterday, and it just really just ended my day. My heart stopped. Um, I've known Menzi since we did Yuzo Yuzo together back in the day, and so this is a friendship that we've had for a very long time. And to know that how hard he's fought for his life for so many over so many years, and to lose that fight, I just never expected it. It was it was. It was, a, it was a blow. Mm. And, and this is a blow that you worked um, with him throughout the many years. Of course, uh, the, the most you know, memorable is your role in Generations, working together. Uh, d talk to us about the kind of actor he was and perhaps the, the person that we didn't get to experience on screen, off screen. Menzi was incredibly precious about his craft, his art. He... And he also did not suffer fools. If you spent 10 minutes with Menzi and you messed up, you knew it immediately. Um, he did not suffer fools. But he was incredibly, incredibly precious about his, his art. And um, he, his focus, his intensity was, um, it, it was unmatched, you know. And he was an amazing friend. As you know, um, he had uh, during, actually at the beginning of my time on Generations, he had his uh, kidney transplant. And um, so I started with him a little bit and then he was gone for a while. When he came back, we had a lot of catching up to do. And he would do, and he was still in full, like in recovery mode. And he would do 10, 12 scenes in a day and without complaint. He did it, mm. and I remember we would, uh, during lunch time, be sitting uh, in his dressing room while he does his dialysis because he had to do it every three hours. And between scenes, we're sitting there working on our scenes and the upcoming scenes, and he's doing his dialysis. And he fought, you know, he worked very, very hard. And as you know, of course, we're all fired together from generations, so it, we formed a, a, a lifetime bond all for you know all of us, and it was. It was such an honor fighting side by side with him. He didn't talk much. He, like if he said it once, he said it a thousand times. He doesn't need to keep telling you the same thing. And you'll be like, our small nose, you know, like, what do you want now? I told you already, we're done. We're done talking. By the time we worked together on Ashes to Ashes, it was the three of us, um, you know, old geezers with uh, Patrick Shai. And, uh, and we shared two dressing rooms together side by side and we make the most noise, more noise than the young ones. And that's because we had so much to share with each other and he was, to those that were close to him, Menzi was incredibly open and very loving. I don't know how Siki is holding up right now. Mm -hmm. And um, before, before we, we let you go, we also know that uh, you, you can speak on... on uh, well, Nokolo Matlashalala's also behalf, um, having, of course, you, the role that you're currently in, besides your personal experiences with Menzi Ngubane, what would you like to convey as, as a guild when it comes to this passing? I mean, the circumstances surrounding her death are, are still unknown. The circumstances around uh, her passing are just damaging to one's soul. It's, it's indicative of the kind of times that we're living in right now in that we are isolated from each other. Unokolo was uh, you know, an actor, but she was also a producer. And I no noticed that when people are talking about her, they forgot that she actually produced one of the, um, it, well, the one production that I remember most right now is the one that she did with Unambita Ben Mazwi. Mm. I think it was damaging. And I went to the launch of that. It was so excited that, oh, system 10, and you know how we <laughs> get into that. She was so proud, and I was so proud. We were all so proud, you know. Uh, she's just from the Eastern Cape, and so she kept that ground. And you know how precious I am about my culture and my language. And she was equally so. And she was very, very grounded. And I, I think the industry is going to miss a, 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 an intense producer, an intense creative, and a beautiful soul. And, of course, in Menzi, you know, our all-time gangster guy. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's too much, you know. It's a little too much now. Mm. And what do you believe 
is the powerful, um, you know, legacy that both these actors leave and the gap within the industry? I think uh, for young women who are entering the industry, she was an example of hard work pays off. Go to school, study, learn the craft and honor the craft and respect the craft. She was a beacon for a lot of young women, especially from the Eastern Cape, because uh, it's villages, you know. We, we, we come from farms and villages in the Eastern Cape for the most part. They're town people. But uh, she was that example of how success can be attained, um, even from the most humble of beginnings. Omenzi equally so. He, you know, he never would let you forget how, you know, grounded he was in his Zulu and his culture and and the intensity of that love for himself and his people and his kids and his kids and his family we are as artists we are whole people we're not just the one-dimensional character that you see on television we're all complete beings and he loved his family he you know um he, in his dressing room he always had a picture of Siki and you know and i would call her the other woman and he wouldn't let, let me do that because that was his one number one person yeah um it was incredible that he as still as he was he managed to be so dynamic at the same time i was seeing you know clips i was watching clips of our work on ashes to ashes and we had a scene where he was absolutely abusing me on screen but we could not do such scenes if we did not trust each other so much and he was that giving a soul i'm gonna miss him Thank you so much uh, for, for sharing that uh, with us, a veteran actress and executive committee member of the South African Guild of Actors, Nambita Bumlana, giving us a sense of her experiences with the, the two actors who have since passed on. It's